Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and I'm gonna show you how to upload photos and images to Shutterstock right now. But first I wanna let you know I'm doing a 90 day challenge of where I'm uploading 50 images for three months to Shutterstock to see how it affects my, my sales and my images. So if you go to, if you wanna sell images on Shutterstock, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to sell content, all right? And you go to your contributor dashboard right here. Then you can just go to upload photos or you can go to upload videos. Now there is a couple different ways you can do it. When you click upload images, it takes you to this screen Screen right here where you can upload your content you can select multiple files to do here or you can do FTP which I recommend doing FTP if you have more than you know a few images left it's free to do it's it's easy to do you can go through the directions right here but we'll start out by uploading one image to because I'm gonna upload the rest of these but you can just upload one image to the drag-and-drop editor here and I've already started a connection to Shutterstock via FTP. So what I could do now is just upload some photos via FTP. And I'm not gonna upload a lot right now because my internet connection is not very fast at the moment. But I'll upload one and we'll see how that does on the flip side in here in just a second. So this one's almost done uploading right now. All right, and it's done. So we can go to next. All right, this little pop-up comes like an allocation to anything. Got it, okay. Now, if we go up here to submit, if you click on your image, you'll if you have multiple image uploaded, they'll be right here. But this is the, where you want to put your image description and your category of image. Define whether it's a photo or an illustration, whether it's a commercial image or editorial. Editorial is going to be for things like landmarks or things that have uh, trademarks on them, artwork that's that you take a picture of maybe. You can go learn more right here, but the editorials, you don't need to put the city name. So for example, I took this, ed this image in uh, Catch Can Alaska. This is an eagle, so I don't have to put this as an editorial image. It's gonna just be commercial. If it was a cruise ship, for example, and it, and it said Carnival Cruise Lines on it, I'd have to put it as an editorial image. And then I have to put Catch Can Alaska, December 25th, 2019. Uh, cruise ship arrives and Carnival cruise ships arrive in Ketchikan, Alaska. Uh, it goes right here. It tells you the whole description process right here of how to do an editorial image. I do have a lot of editorial images up and actually the editorial ones sell just as well as other ones. But you want to make sure you list it right for usage rights, okay? And then you want you put your description, what it is here. Now, if you're dealing with animals or something that maybe, for example, like an eagle, it's not the scientific name for eagle, let's call it something else. So you wanna make sure you go and find that scientific name, the scientific name of that animal or that thing and put it in there. So if it's like a monkey, it's whatever the scientific name for monkey is or a gorilla or a giraffe, whatever the scientific name for those animals are, you wanna put that uh, scientific name in the, um, description or in the tags at least or at least in the tags the keywords i should say you know you put your description here eagle uh in tree looking for food all right and that's not a very good description and you want to put your categories here animals wildlife and then put as many categories as you can that it applies to so maybe we'll put like animals wildlife and nature or uh parks outdoors it was at a park so we could do parks outdoors I think I'll do nature instead. Then the location, I can do uh, catch can, come uh, Alaska. All right, and more options. Nope, not for mature audience. Okay, releases. If you have an image of a person, you don't need a release. So whether it's a, a, of your son, of, of your daughter, of your you know grandma, whoever, if a picture is of a person and they're recognizable in the picture, you need a release from them if you want to post that image to stock photography. So if you're a photographer and you want to take stock images, just make sure you have your uh, person sign the release before you start taking those images. And you can download that release right here. It's good just to carry those around with you. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to pick out your keywords. Like I said, you want to make sure you have the scientific name of that animal. I'm just going to go eagle. And then, you know, what I like to do actually is I like to get a notepad open. And I like to just, when, when you're uploading a lot of the same image, I like to get a notepad open and then just put out my keywords right here. And what's cool is you can copy and paste these words too. So you can copy all words and, and clear them. So uh, there's a lot of things that you can choose from here. Let's just choose some animal, wild, bird, green, feather, outdoors. All right, that's good for right now. Like I said, this is just quick submit. All right, so we submitted one. And here's this image that we actually just uploaded via FTP that's coming up right here, I believe. Yes, this is the image that I uploaded via the FTP client and finished uploading, there it is. And then here's the one that we just uh, submitted 
for review. So once you submit all those keywords, uh, the Shutterstock team checks those out, make sure there's no trademarks or anything like that involved. So if there are, you'll come back, it'll be declined or not. So if you do have a lot of content to upload, it's good to submit all that content at one time. So but my favorite way to submit it again is FTP. That's gonna be the, the fastest way to get all the images up there at one time, especially if they're bigger file size. If you're trying to download high quality images uh, or upload high quality images, FTP is definitely gonna be the way to go. I'm actually uploading some of my files FTP right now. You can see how fast they're actually going. So that's how you upload the images and like I uh, reviewed within five days. If you have more items in there, they're more likely to review them all at one time then. Go ahead and check out my other videos. How much can you make with Shutterstock video? If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. This is just how you upload videos. Go ahead and hit the link in the description if you wanna be a contributor to Shutterstock. I just had images sitting around and I'm not doing anything with them. So I decided I'm just gonna place them on Shutterstock and if they get a few, few cents, they get a few cents. And if they don't, they don't. But it doesn't really take that much effort to put them up there. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and follow me on my journey as I upload more images to Shutterstock and I'll see you guys on the other side.